I'm gonna try doing something that I've never seen on YouTube before. I tried to Google it, couldn't find anything, couldn't find anything on YouTube, anywhere. I could not find anything like this and this is what we're gonna be doing. We are going to be guys, Dylan here with Solo Cuts Landscaping. Thank you for tuning in to another video here on the Solo Cuts Landscape YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys that stopping by and share some time with me here on the channel. Now you can see here, we are in the garage at the little Casa del Stevenson. What we're gonna be doing today is, I have a tool set that over the past couple years, it's gotten rusty. It's gotten pretty rusty, actually. And one time I got caught out in a rainstorm, I was switching something out. Tools got all wet, closed her up, put her away, opened her back up, and it is bad. So, I've been YouTube and trying to figure out how to get rid of rust on tools, and supposedly there's this, this apple cider vinegar is supposed to work. So guys, we're gonna be testing this theory out. Is the apple cider vinegar gonna be the way to go? Let's dive on in, let's check it out. So like I said, these tools are pretty darn rusty. I'm missing some tools because over the course of the years they get lost, you you loan your tools out and someone borrows them. Eh, you got a couple missing, whatever. That's why we have a new set at the shop. This set we're basically gonna keep at home, whatever. But, but yeah, so guys, take a look at these tools. These are rusted bad. Those are rusted pretty bad. They're not in good shape. There's oil on them. They're just, they're just nasty. So we're gonna try this technique. We're gonna try out the apple cider vinegar. Supposedly, the like how acidic the apple cider vinegar is, it's gonna help eat through that rust and it's gonna get them pretty darn clean. We're gonna see if that's true. I'm kind of skeptical. But what do we have to lose? Because those are super bad. So what we're gonna do is, I have a glass jar that we'll use so that way we can see like how everything's working. But also I have just a white standard bucket. We're gonna dump the majority of them in there, but I wanted to get the glass jar so that way I can just see like a progress on like check back in in a few hours, see how it looks. Check back in a few hours, see how it looks. So just to kind of see the progression of it, but the majority of them is gonna be in this bucket. So we're gonna get these tools out of there. Um, out of the toolbox. We're gonna get them into the bucket, get them into the jar. We're gonna get this apple cider vinegar going and guys, we're gonna put this to the test and see if it works. So let's get right on into it. All right guys, so as you can see here, here is our glass jar. I'm gonna put this set of sockets right. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go for the worst of it. We're gonna shift on down. I think these are looking pretty worse. We'll put some of these small ones in there just so we can get a, a good visual on it. But we're gonna fill up the jar first and then we will finish the rest of them in the bucket. These bigger ones we're just going to put in the bucket. I don't want to overfill this so that way everything kind of stays good so we'll just put these bigger socket sets in the uh, in the bucket there. Then there's that bad boy. Let's see if it'll focus in right there. Look at that. Super rested up. All right. There's the jar. About two thirds full, so that should be pretty good. Next up is we're gonna put all the wrenches in, and then we'll uh, we'll finish up with the the other side of the tool. These have some oil on them too, so I'm anxious to see how well those turn out. As you can see, they got they got some oil on them. They're rusted, they're in bad shape, so. These are actually too big to put in the bucket, so we'll just leave these ones out. Um, but we got, you see there, we have these in there. This is definitely gonna need a cleaning. I might be able to stick it in the dishwasher. That may be an option. Stand by for that. So like I said, we have our gallon here of apple cider vinegar. Um, I'm hoping it should be enough. 
to definitely cover it'll be obviously good to fill this up but hopefully it'll be enough to also do what's in the bucket I may have to go get another gallon of this um, after like a day or two because I'm guessing with all the the dirt and everything that comes off of it it's going to dilute the like the acidity of the apple cider vinegar so we'll probably like then dump them out uh, rinse them off and then reapply let them sit for a couple days and uh, just then just see how they are after like three four days so so let's get to dumping this apple cider vinegar in and we'll uh, we'll start this test All right guys, there you see it, completely submerged. Now let's add it to the big bucket. As you can see there, we are covered up. Um, that's not sticking all the way. Get out of here! As you can see, it is five, almost 510, Thursday, March 19th. But we'll check back here in a couple hours to see if anything's happened. If not, we'll check back in the morning. Alrighty, guys. It is 12.29. It's about seven hours later. And as you can see, it's starting to bubble and you can see there's some rust floating around up top there. So looks like it's doing its job. You can see on these ones right here that rust looks like it's just barely hanging on. So it looks like it's looks like we're getting somewhere. So we'll be sure to check back in the morning and see how we're looking. But pretty cool though. You can really see some of the rust just loosening up there and you can see right there it's just it's barely floating around. Everything's bubbling too. You can see some rust floating around over in there and whatnot, so yeah. But these weren't as bad as what the stuff was in there, so Pretty excited to see how this turns out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit overnight and we'll check back in the morning and see exactly what um, what about 12 to 15 hours of it sitting has done. So I'm thinking it's gonna work. So far it's looking pretty good, but um, you never know. We'll see, we'll see how it really turns out. So, so guys, we'll check back in with you here in a little while. Alrighty guys, so we are checking in on the bucket and we are checking on our jar here. Um, there is some rust floating around. It looks like it is working. It looks like there's, I mean, for the most part, a lot of it looks like it's cleaned up pretty good. But we're going to keep letting this sit. I think what I'm going to do is um, this evening we'll dump this out, rinse everything off, see what our progress is, and then put it back in the jar, add fresh apple cider vinegar to it. See if another round of fresh apple cider vinegar will work even better. But I am anxious to see how well they turned out just from this. I mean, it's still bubbling. There's still bubbles coming up off of it. So it looks like the um, the apple cider vinegar is you know eating at the rest. So, so I don't know, maybe we'll let it sit in this jar for another day. And then um, after like 36 hours or so, we'll then put fresh in because it looks like it's still doing the job. So I don't know. I'm excited to see what it looks like. We sit and wait. Alrighty guys, so it has been a couple days now since we have had the sockets sitting in this jar of vinegar. And as you can see here, that is looking pretty nasty. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I have my strainer here. We are going to go out to the spigot in front of the house, rinse these off, and to see how they look and see if we need to put them in for another round. Um, it looks like it did pretty good, so we're gonna check it out. Let's get out to the spigot. I don't know if you can see that, but look at all that rest. Alrighty, so these were the worst of them. And take a look at that.
Man, it actually did pretty, pretty stinking good. It looks to be that there's still a little bit of rust in there. And I think we'll go for another round of vinegar and see if it'll get them polished up all the way through. And so if you do remember, um, the ones that I put here in this jar, they were the worst of it all. Um, these ones weren't as bad. This had a lot of the ones that was the worst of it all. So I'm anxious to see the ones that weren't too bad, see how they end up turning out. But like I said, we're gonna get these back in the jar. We have about a third of a gallon left of apple cider vinegar. We'll put in here and then um, we'll check the ones in the bucket. All right, they're fully submerged there in the jar. So probably gonna let these rest for another day or two. And then at that point, I think that's about as good as we'll get. So let's get on to the bucket. This one didn't fit in all the way, um, but you can see it's just rubbing that rust right off of what was in the vinegar. That polished it up pretty good. And you can see those are pretty shiny and that rust, like I said, is just, a lot of it is just wiping right off. So, I mean, I will say though, there's still, you can still feel the oil that has gotten on these. It's not as bad as what it was, but you still can feel it. And you can still see some rust inside these sockets here. So what I think we'll do is we'll go ahead and put them in the bucket. Hope we have enough vinegar to at least cover most of them. I don't know if we have more in the house or not. I may have to look and see. Man, that covered a good amount. Uh, I'm gonna see if we have more in the house and then we'll be right back. So we end up having another, at least uh, the good, good vinegar. We're just gonna go ahead and add it to top everything off. Uh, hopefully the wife don't get too mad. What's crazy though is you can see how darker the organic is versus just the old cheapo great value brand. Cause see how murky it looks? That's actually because of I mean, that's how that vinegar is. So, I don't know, maybe it's more acidic, maybe it'll work better, we'll see. So with this one, and those right there, we're gonna go ahead and let these sit for another day or two, and then we will check back in and see if it's got them all finished up. All right, so now that we have both containers refilled with vinegar, um, like I said, we're gonna let these sit for another day or two, see if that really gets them good now that we have a stronger solution back in. I'm sure it diluted a little bit um, in the couple of days that it was in there. So now that we got fresh in there, hopefully it really polishes them off. So we'll check back in. I'm probably gonna do about two days. I'm probably gonna let them sit for two days and, um, and we'll see how they turn out after another two days. The wait continues, but I think they're gonna turn out pretty good. They're definitely gonna look better than what they were, I can tell you that. So we're gonna let these set, and then um, once we rinse them off the second time, we'll go about drying them, getting them wiped down, and uh, hopefully it looks like we got a brand new set of tools. Alrighty guys, so we are checking back in. It has been a few days longer than what I had anticipated on finishing this project up. Um, we got a little busy here around the house, so this is actually sat in here for a few days. I'm not sure what exact date we started this project on. I feel like it was probably over a week ago, around a week ago. Today is the 27th, and this is our last round for the vinegar. We're gonna see exactly how they came out. They look like they came more clean, but I will say this, take a look at the jar and the vinegar in the bucket. It looks nasty. Look at that. Shoo. Looks like some more rest did come off of these. So we're gonna take it back to the uh, hose spigot. We're gonna rinse them off, come back in and see how well they look. Um, I'm gonna leave the camera here in the garage because we got some rain coming down right now. I don't wanna get the camera rest. So guys, let me do this and I'll check back in with you guys here in a minute. Alrighty guys, so here we are. We are in the kitchen. Don't tell the wife. She doesn't know this is happening until she probably sees this video. We have rinsed off our drill bits. All right, so we're gonna lay these out on a towel. We're gonna to dry them off and then I'm gonna try doing something that I've never seen on YouTube before. I tried to Google it, couldn't find anything, couldn't find anything on YouTube, anywhere. I could not find anything like this and this is what we're gonna be doing. We are going to be doing like the final drying process 
in the oven. Now I'm not gonna crank the temperature up high, I'm just gonna put it on like whatever the lowest setting is and I'll keep the door open, but just to like speed up the process, so that way there's no water like sitting inside the sockets or anything, it should help um, dry that out on the inside of there and it, it's not gonna be something hot enough to really affect um, the quality or like the integrity of the socket itself. Um, or the wrenches. Literally, this is just to speed up the process. I'm gonna keep the door open so it's not like it's gonna get super hot in there, but just something to help bring heat to those to dry them up. We're gonna dump these out in the towel. We're gonna see exactly how they turned out, so let's get right to it. Look at those, look at those. I'm telling you, these look basically brand stinking new. I just wanna give them wipe down, so we're gonna take some paper towel and uh, just Kind of wipe them off, get some of that nasty, that nastiness off of them, and uh, then we'll put them in the oven to just finish them out for the remainder. All right, now we're gonna do the bucket. I'm gonna wipe these down and then we will check back in with you guys once we get them on the cookie sheet. So I just got done wiping them down, not really to dry them off, but just to. Uh, get some of that excess off um, that necessarily didn't just come right off um, and plus that could just be from them sitting in that nasty vinegar um, after a lot of it came off so just just to wipe them down to clean them up not really to dry them because um, as you can see there's still water on these so we're going to go ahead and put them Uh, in the oven, they will go. Alright, so we got it set for 300. We're actually just going to leave it cracked and uh, we'll check back in here in a little bit and see how well they turn out and see if they're dry. We have pulled these out. They were in there for about 10 minutes is really all it took. Uh, we have pulled them out, we have let them cool, so now you can see the final product. Looks pretty good. You remember that uh, at the beginning I showed you the one? How bad it was? I'll pop a picture up here in the corner so you can see exactly how bad that was, but take a look at that. Now remember, I know they're not going to be perfect, they're not going to be rust free, um, but they look a heck of a lot better. The oil is no longer on them from when we did oil change on the one and oil dumped all over it. So, so now all I have to do is spray these down with some type of um, protectant, um, some type of mineral oil or something. Then we'll put them back in the tool case. So now what I have to do is I need to get the toolbox all cleaned up and I have to uh, get some mineral oil or something um, on these just to protect them to hopefully keep rust from starting up again. Uh, so that's all we're gonna have for that and that is all we have for this video. The test has came through. The apple cider vinegar works like a charm. The oven dry them out great so guys thank you very much for tuning into this video if you're new to the channel guys be sure to smash that subscribe button hit that bell so that way you get a notification every time i drop a video guys drop comments down below have you ever tried something like this what do you guys do to prevent rust on your tools i would love to know so drop it in the comments down below and as always y'all remember do what you love love what you do but never know never stop guys we will see you in the next one Bye.